in their most recent game, the Toronto Raptors beat down on the Cleveland Cavaliers and specifically beat down on Donovan Mitchell, who had yet another dud against the team. And as a result, he had some pretty slanderous comments about the Raptors. So in today's video, we're going to reveal exactly what those comments were and my thoughts on them. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Amateur Hour TV for another video on the second channel for the Amateur Hour Production Network. On this channel, I go through additional NBA-related content, especially with a focus on the Toronto Raptors that I just do not really want to go through on my main channel, Amateur Hour Sports, but I still want to talk about it, still want to document it so I can do it on this channel where the vibes are different to that main channel. I'm a little bit less professional, a uh, little let my personality come through a little bit more, a little bit more of an informal approach. So it's the same Raptors content, same NBA content that I hope you you love and it's just in a bit of a different style over here the main channel just hit 13,000 subs thank you guys for that we're on the road to 2,000 subs on this second channel having fun creating content over here and having fun with this topic right now Donovan Mitchell I know this game was a few days ago it was on the 23rd but you know I've been taking a little bit of a break for the Christmas period I celebrate Christmas uh, if you celebrate as well Merry Christmas if you don't celebrate then happy holidays to you hope you're having a great week regardless and um I kind of wanted to talk about this immediately, but I, I really just needed a few days to just chill out, spend some time with family. But uh, I still did want to talk about it because I could not get over what Donovan Mitchell said about the Raptors. And all I could do at the time was really laugh. I kind of wanted to bring it up on my Twitter. I, I didn't end up doing that, but I just had to talk about exactly what Donovan Mitchell said after the Cavaliers lost the Raptors for the third time this season. Uh, season as a whole, I mean, the Cavaliers are doing way better than the Raptors are, of course. Raptors on the outside looking in. Cleveland looking like potentially a contender this season. It's made definitely a dark horse to win an NBA championship this season, and Donovan Mitchell has got to be the catalyst in that. He's going to be an all-star this season, having an outstanding season, but uh, he has not looked outstanding against the Raptors by any stretch of the imagination this season. After his most recent dud of a performance against the team from the north side of the border, this is exactly what he had to say. So when you foul the whole game, and they're really good at that, they can foul the whole game and the refs aren't going to call it on each possession. You got to give them credit. They're physical. They kicked our ass. So a uh, bit of a back-ended compliment here. Oh, they just cheat the whole game. The refs don't call it. But, you know, I give them credit for being physical and kicking our ass. Okay. But, you know, they cheated. And and they didn't deserve to win. Like, Donovan, come on, buddy. I think there's a little bit of a frustration here for Donovan Mitchell because he is an outstanding player. And this is the second game in a row against the Raptors where he has put up really, 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 really bad numbers. And this is a player who does not typically put up numbers like that, I think, in... The, the second game against the Raptors this season, they played three games this season. Raptors have won all three. Um, in the second game this season, Donovan Mitchell had less than 10 points for the first time in like, I think it was something like 80 to 100 games. So, you know, I can sense a little bit of a frustration there. I can sense a little bit of, of a frustration brewing for a Cavaliers team that has you know, just lost a few games on the trot here. But um, overall, the Cavaliers obviously having an outstanding season. But just the comments, a little bit of a salt a little, bit of, a little bit of salt here uh, on, on the taste from the way Donovan Mitchell was describing the way the game was played. And obviously, I'm looking at this game from a little bit of a biased standpoint as a Raptors fan. But overall, um, I didn't gauge or sense that there was any issues really from the officiating here. Maybe earlier on in the game, I felt like the Raptors had a bit more calls go their way, but I think the pendulum swung in the way of the Cavaliers near the end of the game. I believe they also ended with more free throws than the Raptors had, but uh, I mean, that's not always the truest indicator. Regardless, I didn't think the officiating was off by, by any means whatsoever. I don't think the Raptors are good at fouling either. I just think Donovan Mitchell is upset because he had yet another game, yet another bad game against the Raptors. In the last two games against the Raptors, he has 20 points, six rebounds, and six assists. Unfortunately for Donovan, those are not averages. Those are totals because he had 12 points in the most recent game, actually had a solid game in other categories, five rebounds, four assists, but you could sense the frustration with the player, uh, the three turnovers and the four for 16 shooting. He was getting frustrated by OG Ananobi's DPOI level defense and was just chucking shots to try and compensate. He was three for 12 from three in this one. He actually started one for nine in this game. As well, I actually think he ended up starting one for 10 if you count the start of the second half as well. 
the frustration really mounted from that first game against the Raptors or the second game against the Raptors this season where he had eight points, one rebound, two assists. He shot three for 11 from the field, one for five from three, was minus 21, and OG and an OB once again just had this guy in hell. It's not all OG. It is a lot of OG. It's a lot of doubles being thrown his way as well. And there's a lot of players who have played the Raptors quite a bit, who are used to playing the Raptors, who can kind of fight through these doubles and still score a bunch of points. Kevin Durant is one that comes to my mind in that category. Donovan Mitchell, having spent his entire career in the Western Conference thus far, other than just the what we've had so far of this season, maybe not quite as used to playing against the Raptors, and uh, could not fight through those doubles, didn't really turn it into points for his teammates as a player like Kevin Durant would do if he's not really scoring that well against the Raptors and still wants to to help his team win the game. Donovan Mitchell wasn't exactly doing that. He just started shooting the ball more and more, and it just still wasn't falling for the player. And I think the frustration just comes from the first game where, you know, he obviously sees the comments about the Raptors' defense against him, and it just kind of spins over into this game as well, where he once again struggles from the field, once again struggles to generate any sort of impact in this game as the Raptors' offense rains down, rains down on this Cleveland defense, the best defense in the NBA statistically, and uh, we're going to enjoy that one. Again, on the scope of the season, I understand that the Cavaliers, uh, they're doing much better than the Raptors, and I'm kind of having my fun with this topic right now because I just sense so much salt on Donovan Mitchell's tongue as he's talking about this this game and the way the Raptors played because when you look at the foul stuff, like the Raptors being, oh, they're really good at fouling, they're, they're middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of fouls committed per game. Cleveland are one of the best actually in this category. They've committed the third least amount of personal fouls in the NBA so far this season. So, you know, maybe we can give them a little bit of credit for that, the way the, <laughs> the games have had them going. And uh, it's a testament to how good their defense in it. The defense has been the season. Raptors are in 15th, again, right in the middle of the pack there in terms of fouls committed. So I don't think they're a team good at fouling. I just think they're a physical team who use their physical prowess against smaller players. That's exactly why they have all these big bodies on their team. And Donovan Mitchell is just somebody who could not compensate against that. So, you know, this is a fun topic. This is kind of fun to talk about. I, I think Donovan Mitchell is just upset that he played poorly again and that the Cavaliers lost the game. But overall, I mean, Cavaliers are having a much better season. Donovan Mitchell is having a wonderful season here. As I mentioned, the Cavaliers are a little bit of a dark horse to win the NBA championship this season. But look, Donovan, buddy, welcome to the big leagues. Like, you just got to hang with the physicality. You just got to hang with this. And if it's just not your night, you have to recognize that and not take 12 threes when you're only hitting 25% of them. I think that's just kind of the next step for the development here. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is, I would say, a superstar player. Some people would call him a borderline superstar player. He's going to be an all-star this season, so um, you're not going to get many games like this. And who knows, maybe next time the Cavaliers play the Raptors, uh, there should be four games against the Cavaliers. I believe that's how it works. The next time, if the Cavaliers play the Raptors again this season, he could light us up. We never really know, but uh, these two games here, Raptors defense has been excellent. First game of the season where the Raptors had their first game against the Cavaliers, he lit us up. So you never really know what you're going to expect, but Nick Nurse maybe has found a little bit of the secret to guarding this guy. And I think there's just, I mean, look, I know from playing very like small level sports, I can, I can only imagine NBA guys know this. If Donovan Mitchell is going to complain about that last game, well, then they're just going to up it next game. And uh, that's definitely going to be on the mind of players like OG and an OB. So Donovan Mitchell, look, great player. You can't talk about, you, you shouldn't just, I don't think you should talk about teams like that. It is what it is. He can do whatever he wants. He's, he's an adult as am I. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please, if you did enjoy, drop a like on the video to support the channel and make sure you're subscribed to Amateur TV for more videos and content coming just like this. Can't wait for uh, more Raptors action. We start tonight. I have a watch party on my main channel, Amateur Sports coming. Make sure you're subscribed over there and I'll see you again next time for more from Amateur TV.